All right, welcome to uh, Laundry Dark Room. It's a Monday night. Um, it's been a couple of weeks. I got uh, really busy, but we are going to revisit this negative. So where we were at before was uh, 12, no, we were at 14 seconds, grade zero, zero. Um, and then, uh, I don't remember what the grade five was, but uh, the, the grade five, I think, was 12 seconds or something like that. And what it, what that effectively is doing is the area here, you should be able to see detail in and it's too dark. And this area here um, is is too dark. So what I'm going to do, and, and this area here, it's too much, uh, too too light. There actually is gradations in there. So um, I'm going to use this as a reference print. This was from a couple weeks ago. I thought I used all of my um, 11 by 14 paper. Turns out I still have one sheet of the multi-grade for uh, 11 by 14 left. I've got another uh, box of this on order. Um, should be coming in here in the next week or so. But in the meantime, I've got 25 sheets of um, Arista.edu uh, VC Pearl. It's probably not going to be the same um, grades, so we'll have to work that out. I'll, I'll end up burning a couple of sheets, but I think I can stick this negative. Um, what the plan is with the one sheet of Ilford that I have left, um, I'm going to run grade 00, zero at 16 seconds. That'll give us a little more gradation here in the middle. And um, actually, you know what? Let me do this. I'm gonna stick this on focus. I'm gonna turn the light off. Hopefully you should be able to see this. So looking here, this actually has tone all the way up into this kind of circular area here. I don't know if you can, yeah, you can actually see that in the video. I'm looking at it on the video. You can actually see that. We have distinct tone all the way up into this circular area here. So uh, 16 seconds at grade zero, zero should give us that same thing here. We have distinct tone all the way up into this area here on this reflection. Um, and then over here, you can see the shadow here. So even though this clock face, we've got a little bit of a brighter area here, even though this clock face is turning out a little darker than I want, what I'm gonna do is uh, 16 seconds grade zero, zero, and I might just come over and and do this a little bit to, you know, to uh, kind of dodge this during that 16 seconds just to kind of take some of that grade zero zero time away. And then what I'm going to do, um, that's going to be at F, um, let's see here, that's going to be at F11, right? And then um, I'll keep everything the same, put the grade five in, but half the time at F16. F16, that's the furthest this particular lens will shut down. Once you do F16, um, you know, keep everything, the, keep the time the same, but do F16 so it'll basically be effectively half the exposure uh, at grade five. That should give us effectively seven and a half seconds. Um, this looks like this was bumped. So let me just do a focus real quick. Make sure that I can actually see the grain. <clears throat> oh, we're still in focus. All right. So nothing's moved in a couple of weeks. How about that? Sometimes you got to double check that kind of stuff because with kids, it uh, can pretty easily change. So anyway, um, that's that's what we're gonna do. And so I am going to, oh, I've also switched over to um, 
I got a new multi-grade set of filters for my lab, for lab rentals, and the set that I had there that I was using, I'm gonna bring here. So we're gonna do a grade zero, zero at F11. And then we're also gonna do grade five. So I've still got the other filter set, but this one just makes it a lot easier to, uh, let me flip that over the other way. Make sure all the dust is off of it. Just got a, just got a whole pile of dust on it. There we go. All right. So, yep. So that's what we're gonna do. We've got our zero, zero. Ah! There I am being a total clod. We've got our zero, zero in our under lens holder. There. And then, uh, gonna have everything ready to rock and roll all right so we'll do our first print and see where that gets us all right this is gonna be our last sheet of 11 by 14 Ilford multi-grade 4 so we will be once this, once I get in the uh, this feels like two sheets. Yeah, this is two sheets. Oh, I have two sheets. Awesome. Okay. Let me stick this sheet back in here. Sheet sticking to the other one. Oh, now they're sticking together. There we go. All right, two sheets, even better. Okay. <clears throat> so once I uh, finish this box off, because apparently I have another sheet after this sheet, um, weights down to hold our mask down. I know this, is, this seems kind of janky, but believe it or not, this actually works. And, uh, you know, if you've looked at the price of um, easels, even used ones online, wow, are they expensive. They are expensive. Okay. Grade zero, zero. 16 seconds, F11. Okay. There we go. There we go. So now I'm just going to come in here like this. I don't want to completely ruin um, the uh, highlight uh, that we had there. Okay, so now we're going to take our grade zero zero out. We're going to close down to um, F16. We're going to put our grade five in. We're going to run 15 seconds at grade five. And this should give us down here in the corner. I know you probably can't see my hand, but this should give us some really nice, good, solid blacks that where we can still see in and see all of the, all of the detail in there. So, 
we're gonna I'm gonna run this through the chemistry. Actually, you know what? Before I do that, I'm gonna make my border. I'm gonna make my border. I'm sure you guys are wondering how on earth I make my borders. So we're gonna put we're gonna put a black border on this bad boy. So that uh, black sheet that you saw before fits right inside this mask. So I lay it down in here like like so. And I make sure it's a nice snug fit against this corner. And then I take a couple more straps and boop. Boop. And I take out all the filters and I take out the negative so that we're just gonna blast this bad boy with some uh, white light. And I turn my time here to one and a half seconds and I give it a couple of really good blasts. So, one and a half, three, four and a half, six, seven and a half. Okay. And then we take this and we scooch it over to the other corner, like that. Put these weights down to hold it flat. And we do the other corner. One and a half, three, four and a half, six, seven and a half and that's how you do your black borders I mean there's a million ways to get there when it comes to doing black borders but this is how I do my black borders when I had this frame uh, that I'm using for the easel custom cut from American frame I had them cut this inside piece to size so that I could do I could stick it in there and do the black borders um, and it has worked out fabulously well. Every once in a while, you'll not quite get it in there, and it'll it'll uh, have a funky border. But f for the most part, it, it does what it's supposed to do, and it works really, really, really well. Okay, let's get this paper developed, and then we'll take a look at it. All right, this actually is looking uh, a lot better. Um, I may do one more print simply because this black is still blacker than I really want it to be. So I might just use the last sheet uh, to do this, but this white is really pretty much about where I would want it. You know, I mean, you do want it to be darker than the light source and paper white, and you want to have enough there so that you can see this. But the 16 seconds, I think, looks about right uh, at grade zero, zero, um, with some uh, dodging f for this area here. Um, and that, that looks pretty good. This black, though, is a little bit meh. I want it to be not quite so black. And there's, it looks like there's a hair, like right here. Um, so I'm going to have to re-clean the negative. I don't know if you can see that or not. But there's literally... Yeah, you can. Right there. So um, the print looks okay. Otherwise, it looks good. So we'll, uh, we'll see. All right, one more. Now that you've seen what the uh, process is, we're just going to repeat it, try to try to do it the same or a little bit better. All right, all right. So here we have 16 seconds, grade zero, zero. And I uh, did a little dodging on uh, this area here of the clock. Basically just, you know, used my hand to cast a shadow there at grade zero, zero. And then, um, we went to, and that was at F11, and then we went to F16 for grade 5, and I bumped the time down to 13 seconds at grade 5 and F16, which would give us the equivalent of 6.5 seconds at, grade, at uh, F11. 
um, and ran that and then um, did the black borders. And that This actually looks pretty good. I can actually see gradation here. I don't know if the video uh, will show it all that much, but let me zoom in. You might be able to see it. You can see it a little bit on the video, uh, but just looking at the print proper, uh, you can actually see it. So um, at any rate, yeah, it's it's uh, it's looking looking pretty good. So I think we're going to move on to the next negative. I need to wash and dry this. Um, I need to look at which negative I want to print, and then uh, we'll uh, start working that out. Let me just check the time here. I started a little, oh man, it's 11.45. Okay, so maybe not. <laughs> maybe next week we'll do, I'll pick one of these other negatives. I think actually um, I have a negative on the strip that's already in the carrier, that uh, a frame that I want to print, but there's a number of, um, images on this sheet that I would like to print. So uh, we're gonna be working on that for a while. Okay, um, let me wash this and then we'll uh, and dry it and then we'll take a look at it and go from there. All right, there you go. That is the final print. Um, we have a messed up one here it's got a bunch of hair and junk on it, but but this is this is the uh, the last one on Ilford Multigrade Four RC. I'll probably have the other paper in, so I might not have to crack open my pack of uh, Arista paper, but which really is just FOMA. Um, but anyway, yeah, got the nice border. You can see the gradations in here. You can actually see the black border along the edge. Um, I don't know if the video is going to, if it's going to show up in the video or not. I got to get the. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, this looks pretty good. Now I just need to find somewhere to frame and hang this where I'm not going to get yelled at. All right. See you next week.